In this video, we're going to look at how to create templates in Expression Engine for the rest of our pages. Our About, Services, Portfolio, and Contact pages are going to work very similar to our home page. The first thing we're going to do to set up these pages is we're going to create a new template group for each one of the pages. Think of each one of these as a new directory or folder in the site in which you could place other folders. Now we're going to use this duplicate existing template group because the folder that we want to start with or the file that we want to start with is very similar to the home page. So if we go ahead and submit this and look at we now have an about page that has all the same content as the home page. We'll easily be able to swip, swipe this out with what is inside of our template and we'll have some static versions um, using the other embeds with Expression Engine. So let's go ahead first and create the rest of these template groups. And we'll go ahead and duplicate home for each one of these. And finally, the contact. And there we go. So now we have our home, about, services, portfolio, and contact, which mirrors our home, about, services, portfolio, contact. And as I said, you could view these template groups, at least these ones that we've created, sort of as directories on your server in which each of them have their own unique index file. Now Expression Engine is very flexible and one of the things that it's flexible about is how template groups and templates work. For example, we could have potentially put our other pages inside of our home and shared the one directory. Um, and as you start working with Expression Engine, you'll come up with different scenarios that work best with you. But this is uh, a very conventional or traditional. You can't really go wrong with it. Um, although people may say it creates a few more template groups, uh, I think the solution works pretty well, especially for this site. So now that we have these template groups selected, what we're going to do is go back into our template, our original static template, and we're going to find everything inside of the main article tag. And we're going to take that out of our static template and paste it into our expression engine template. So for our about page, we'll take out everything that was on the welcome page, or the home page, and we'll paste in our about page. So about me images, we know that we're going to have to fix that to be site URL, images uploads, we'll have that there. Let's go ahead, update and finish that. Let's go ahead and do these other ones while we're in here real quick too at the services content. It's here. Portfolio. Notice that we have a bunch of images here we're going to have to fix. And since these are all the same image, I'm just going to go ahead and create and um, replace them line by line because it's going to be a bit faster than just trying to change a piece of the image source. And finally, let's do our contact page. Go and get all of our contact type content. Go ahead and paste that in. Now, if we go and look at our original site and click on these links, they're still not going to work because from our original template, which was all static HTML, we still have these old links in there about 
hyphen HTML. And if we went and looked in our side embed, we would see that we do have href about.html. We're going to replace these with something called the path variable in Expression Engine. And what the path variable allows you to do is create dynamic links that you could use a variable for the path of your actual website and then just name the template group and the template that you want to link to. So for example, if we wanted to link to our about page, we would say path equals about template group and then find the index in that. Or if we go back and we look at our templates here, we would say click go into about and then give me the index page. A shortcut to this is we could just say about and in the same way that um, directories on a server will know to find an index page if you don't specify what page you want within a directory, Expression Engine will do the same. So what we can do in our asides is for our about services portfolio and contact we're going to replace it with a very simple line of code which is this. And this is nice because if we ever change um, our location of our server or we're using local and development or uh, we decide to move it into a subdirectory we do not have to update any of the links on our site. Now if we were to do the same thing for the home page it would link to the home directory and it would show home in the browser. Now, this isn't the end of the world, but really, we don't want that home to be showing. We just want to use the site URL. But let's go ahead and just leave it this way, and then we'll come back and see why it is that we want to fix it. So if we refresh our page now and we click on About, notice that we go straight to the About Services Portfolio, and finally our Contact. Now, something that hopefully you notice is that this active state right here is not completely working. Um, it should be changing as we go to each page. Now notice though, the other thing is that if I click on this home, it adds home up in the top of the browser here. So this is what I meant earlier, that that works for the other template groups, but we don't really want people to see this home template group, especially not in the URL. So what we're going to do to fix this is instead of linking to path equal to home, we're going to just say site URL. And now when we click on home, notice that it removes everything else from the URL and links directly to home. Now you may be wondering about this index.php that's appearing before the about because we would expect to see just this. This is something that Expression Engine adds by default um, to the bewilderment of many developers out there. And it can be removed before you go live um, by just updating the HT access file. Um, so we'll come back and look at that at the very end to talk about that. But for now, we'll just leave these in our URLs. So if we come back into our side and we look at this class active, what we need to do is make the class active depending on what page we are on. To do this, we're going to use a very powerful feature in Expression Engine called URL segments. And what they are are variables that give you the different segments of a URL. So in this URL, for example, segment 1 could be represented by this variable, segment 2 by this variable. What that means on our site is that on our home page, segment 1 is blank. On the about page, segment 1 is equal to about. On the services, segment 1 is equal to services. Portfolio and contact are all the same. So what we can do is write an expression engine conditional that says if segment 1 is equal to, in this case, blank, then go ahead and display that class of active. We'll copy this and bring it down. And for about, we'll say if segment 1 is equal to about, display class active. If segment 1 is equal to services, display class active. And we'll do the same for portfolio and contact. You may be thinking, wow, this 
feature and expression engine of running conditionals based on URL segments is very powerful. And yes, it is, and you could do a lot of flexible stuff with it. Um, just be warned that in expression engine, it will still run a lot of the content that is inside of the if conditionals. So if you have a page that has a lot of if statements on it, that could potentially slow down the site. Now this isn't too bad, um, so we're going to go ahead and, and go with this for now. And we'll click update, come back to our site. And now whatever page we're on matches, checks the URL segment, and adds a class of active depending on it. So we have gone in just one short video of having our site with no other pages to just having a template to using that template to adding static content within it. So we have a dynamic template for the header, sidebar, and footer, and we have static content inside of the um, actual page content area for each page. The next big step is going to be taking all of this page content and making it dynamic and updating it through Expression Engine's channels. But before we do that, we're going to look one more time at this sidebar and do something with this shout out here involving something in Expression Engine called snippets. So we'll come back in the next video and look at that.